Hello friends, my name is Rathna Masood. Today we will discuss about the topic Affinity Diagram. Friend, this is a very important topic in project management and uh, we have taken this topic from uh, PMBOK, Project Management Body of Knowledge. However, it's a very common topic, uh, either it's a PMP or either it's a Jai Scrum framework. This is a very common topic in both of the uh, terminologies. So friend, uh, first of all, please note that if you are a student and studying project management in university, either you are planning to give exam of PMP or either you are planning to give exam related to a scrum. So this is a very, very important topic, affinity diagram, and you will see at least three to four questions will definitely be there in the exam in which your concept related to affinity diagram will definitely be checked. Secondly, if you are a professional project manager and working in any organization as a project manager or a scrum master, so this is very important topic and you must have to know that how to deal, how to make uh, the affinity diagram and how to create uh, the affinity diagram. So friend, let's uh, start. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you. So let's uh, start. Affinity diagram. First of all, uh, friend, if you just see the term affinity diagram, that means it's a diagram. It It's a figure. So what actually the figure and what is the purpose of making the affinity diagram? We will see this topic in detail today. FTD diagram is a method basically which can help you gather large amounts of data and organize them into groups or themes based on their relationships. The affinity process is great for grouping data gathering during research or ideas generated during the brainstorm session. See friend here. Friend whenever we have to deal with the brainstorm session or we are uh, we are conducting the uh, ideas sessions like in the sessions in which we have to generate the ideas so it's uh, it's a good approach to use the affinity diagram let me give you an example here for example uh, for example you uh, you are uh, you are deciding you are thinking to uh, start a new startup company okay and uh, many people are sitting together and uh, they are throwing their ideas and they all want to uh, give their ideas and every idea has the advantages and disadvantages uh, behind it so uh, it's a good idea to use the affinity diagram affinity diagram means that uh, what you can do simply you can do like uh, just write the idea on a paper a simple sticky note you can use the sticky note and just place it on the wall place it on the wall or just place it somewhere so that everyone can see the idea then you can discuss the idea then you can discuss the advantages and disadvantages then the next idea and just uh, write it down the idea on a sticky note and place it on the wall and after once the all the things have been discussed and uh, uh, advantages and disadvantages discussed so that you can group together the ideas together you can see uh, you can see that many ideas uh, have some link together so based on their properties based on their uh, uh, based on their properties we can group the ideas all together so we have some uh, at the end of the discussion we have some <coughs> groupings on the wall and then we can prioritize those groups together and based on the property we can select some uh, we can take some decision so this is the concept of affinity diagram this is a good idea to make affinity diagram whenever we are conducting the brainstorming session uh, maybe you uh, can ask that what is brainstorm session Brain brainstorming session means that like four to five people can sit together and they throw their ideas and whenever they are throwing the ideas they don't uh, there's no need to discuss the nitty gritties uh, in the brainstorm session basically we discuss the idea first of all the uh, the people who are sitting in the brainstorm session they should be creative they should be a uh, problem solver they should be solution or uh, solution oriented like they have some idea in their mind and they should give the idea without any fear like without any thinking that whatever the other people think about it you should have a creative mind and you should give the idea based on your own experiences and your own ideas and uh, in the brainstorming session you can use the uh, affinity diagram but any uh, one another example i can give you about affinity diagram like for example <coughs> 
you have noticed you are working in any software based company and you have noticed that whenever you deploy the build on the production uh, uh, there is some error occur for example you have noticed that whenever we deploy the build on the production there is error on the production and you have to face at least 10 to 15 time minutes of downtime due to uh, whenever you uh, build the deploy the build on production so what you can do you can uh, call every as a project manager call all the technical resources technical experts or uh, senior resources they can sit together and they can give their ideas on based on their knowledge based on their experiences that what actually is happening what are the reasons they are due to which the error is occurring and based on their ideas based on their thoughts you can group together the ideas all together and once you group it together then you can prioritize the grouping and then you can take and or you can make some decisions based on the discussions during the brainstorming session this is an example basically so uh, actually uh, what is the step by step process of uh, the affinity diagram this step is that first of all put a piece of data small document fact uh, drawing idea and observation onto post it note like just take any simple card paper sticky note and write it down the uh, the idea on a paper okay and put it them on the wall and then discuss about the idea then uh, take the any, uh, any other post same idea and uh, any other idea from the other party other group other resource and put it on the wall and discuss it about in that way you keep discussing the idea and often the ideas are discussed then you can group it together uh, once the you group it together then in the last you can uh, you can prioritize the ideas once you have the grouping then based on the grouping you can group it together the ideas and after grouping you can prioritize it that which group has having more priority on any other idea and once the grouping is finalized priority is finalized then you can take the uh, decision accordingly so this is the uh, main idea or main uh, approach is that Remember friend when think that you should have at least 3 to 2, uh, 10 groups 3 to 10 people are sitting together uh, because based on the brainstorming session uh, we can uh, take some decision uh, once the ideas are grouped together the priority is more important or you can say the ranking is more important uh, rank is very important once the ranking has been established so uh, describe what you have synthesized for example insights user needs pain points uh, look for gaps you haven't addressed yet focus on translating what you have organized and understood into the practice rather than just identifying similarity ideas here one thing very important friend that once you uh, group together the ideas then you have to prioritize and rank them and once the things have been ranked or things have been prioritized this is very important that to uh, get the knowledge actually like get the knowledge means that you have to get the uh, insight actually that what actually you have received uh, after the discussion this is very important like whatever you have discussed uh, whatever you have uh, discussed with the resources what actually the takeaways whatever the what actually the action item is like you should have some insight you should have some decisions power once the things have been discussed and prioritized so this is very important friend uh, here very important point is that the objective of the affinity diagram is that not only discussing the ideas here and there not only just discussing the ideas this is the not the obje objective of affinity diagram the main objective of affinity diagram is that the ideas should be grouped together prioritized and after the prioritizing and ranking we should have to uh, be able to analyze uh, we ha should have to uh, look for the gaps we look uh, look for the pain points look for the user needs and we should have to uh, be able to uh, reach some uh, decision point okay so this is the uh, main objective of making the uh, affinity diagram and the main objective of affinity diagram is not to just discussing the ideas here i just want to show you a, a simple affinity diagram affinity diagram look like this for example safety is a group features is a group performance is a group services is a group 
so for example if you are just take an example like for example you want to purchase some equipment so uh, what are the grouping is there for example safety has some points features has some points performance has some points and services have some point so based on the grouping and prioritization and requiring and the ranking you should be able to take the uh, to take to, uh, you should have to be able to analyze and take the decision accordingly so friend thank you thanks a lot for your time and uh, that's all from my side thank you